Hello everyone, I am Amit Maru and today we are going to discuss about uh, exponential. So let us start our today's video on exponential. Suppose we have one number a raised to n. Here a is a constant number and n is a power of a. Just take one example, suppose a raised to 5. So if you want to find the solution of a raised to 5, it means that we have a into a into a into a into a. So when you find number of multiplication for a raised to 5, then we can say total 4 number of multiplications required. The first multiplication, second multiplication, third and fourth. So total 4 number of multiplications required to find the solution of a raised to 5. Likewise, if a raised to 10, then total 9 number of multiplications required. In general, if we find the solution of a raised to n, then we can say to find the solution of a raised to n, total n minus 1 number of multiplications required. Right? But now, how we can reduce this number of multiplication by using divide and conquer concept. So, suppose we have one recurrence. When we write a recurrence for any uh, exponential like a raised to n, then the recurrence of r s to n will be like uh, if n is equal to 1 in this case if the value of n is equal to 1 then your uh, recurrence equation will return a as an answer if n is even at the time will return r s to n by 2 whole rest to 2 otherwise will return a into r s to n minus 1 this is recurrence equation for exponential suppose r s to n just take one example Suppose n is equal to 29, so a raised to 29. So as we discussed in our classic uh, multiplication, a into a into a into a uh, for a 29 number of a, at that time how many n multiplications required? n minus 1, it means that 28 number of multiplications required to find the solution of a raised to 29. Again I am repeating. 28 number of multiplications required to perform a raised to 29 but we are finding solution of a raised to 9 a raised to 29 by using this uh, recurrence equation when the value of n or we can say the power is n is equal to 1 will return a when it is even then will return a raised to n by 2 whole raised to 2 otherwise will return a into a raised to n minus 1 here the n is equal to 29 so the first condition is false then we have to check second condition that is n is even so second condition is also false and third condition otherwise is true so that we can write in place of uh, uh, a raised to 29 we can write a into a raised to 29 minus 1 that is 28 so a into uh, a into a raised to 28 so a into a raised to 28 now again this is a raised to 28 so the value of n is equal to 28 we need to check n is equal to 1 no n is even yes 28 is a even number so whenever n is even then we'll return a raised to n by 2 whole raised to 2 so 28 divided by 2 that is 14 and whole raised to 2 so we can write a as it is then in place of a raised to 28 we can write a raised to 14 whole square now this a raised to 14 so uh, n is equal to 1 no n is equal n is even yes so 14 is even so we can write uh, a raised to n by 2 means a raised to 14 by 2 that is 7 and the whole rest to 2 so uh, a raised to 7 and whole square now a raised to 7 so n is equal to 1 no n is even no n is odd otherwise so a into a raised to n minus 1 that is 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 so a into uh, a raised to 6 so in this way we have to uh, find the sol solution until we get n is equal to 1 once the n is equal to 1 then we have to return a so uh, when we uh, complete this uh, whole process then we can get this kind of uh, sequence a into a into a into a raised to 2 whole power 2 uh, raised to 2 raised to 2 like that so here we need to identify how many uh, times uh, ta how many multiplications required so we can say here total three multiplications are there one two and three multiplications are there and one two three and four squaring are there so total how many multiplications required 
uh, 4 for the squaring and uh, 3 multiplication actual so that total 7 multiplications required instead of 28 multiplication because RS to 29 required 28 number of multiplication but once we follow this recurrence then it required only 7 multiplication right so let us take another example so that you can you can easily understand for example RS to 15 and RS to 36 so solve for the RS to 15 first whenever it is to uh, 15 at that time we need to check the value of n n is equal to 1 or not no n is equal to not 1 then n is odd yes n is odd so whenever n is odd at that time we have to perform a raised to uh, n minus uh, 1 a into n a into a raised to n minus 1 so a into n minus 1 so n is equal to 15 15 minus 1 14 so a into a raised to 14 now a, a here it is 14 14 means the even so whenever uh, n is even then we'll uh, have uh, a raised to 14 divided by 2 uh, whole raised to 2 so 14 divided by 2 means 7 so a raised to 7 whole square now 7 is odd so the third condition is true so as per the third condition uh, we can write a into a raised to n minus 1 so a into n raised to uh, a raised to n minus 1 means 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 so a into a raised to 6 now 6 is uh, a 1 so again we have to perform a raised to n divided by 2 whole square so a raised to 6 6 divided by 2 that is 3 and whole square so that a raised to 3 and whole square now 3 is odd so the third condition is 2 so as per the third condition a into n a raised to n minus 1 so a in, in place of a raised to 3 we can write a into uh, a raised to n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so now we have to stop because only squaring uh, is there so find out how many multiplications required 1 2 3 multiplications required 1 2 3 squaring required so total 6 number of multiplications required take another example suppose we have a uh, rs to 36 and find out how many multiplications required as per the classic algorithm rs to 36 required 35 number of multiplication because rs to n required n minus 1 multiplication so here n is equal to 36 so rs to 36 required uh, 35 number of multiplication but when we use our recurrence to find uh, rs to 36 at that time it required less number of multiplication so find out how many multiplications required uh, whenever it is rs to 36 so as per our recurrence when the value of n is even at that time we can write rs to uh, n divided by uh, 2 rest to 2 so uh, rs to uh, n that is 36 divided by 2 that is 18 so a raised to 18 whole square now again 18 is even so again we have to perform same operation a raised to uh, n divided by 2 whole square so a raised to n that is 18 18 divided by 2 that is 9 a raised to 9 whole square so a raised to 9 whole square and whole square now the value of uh, n is equal to 9 so it is uh, odd so our third condition as per recurrence equation our third condition is true so as per the third condition in place of rs to 9 we can write a into rs to 9 minus 1 that is 8 right so we can write uh, a into rs to uh, rs to 8 whole square whole square now here n is equal to 8 so second condition that is uh, n is even is true so that again we can write a raised to uh, n divided by 2 whole square so a raised to 8 8 divided by 2 that is 4 so a raised to 4 whole square now here uh, uh, n is equal to 4 that is a uh, even number so that we can perform same operation like a raised to uh, uh, n divided by 2 whole square so a raised to 4 divided by 2 whole square so we can get a raised to 2 uh a raised to 2 whole square so now uh, now we can find how many multiplications required so as per our answer we have to identify how many multiplications required here only one multiplications required and how many squaring are there one two three four and five squaring are there and one multiplication so that we can say total five uh, plus one that is six multiplications 
required so every time uh, we have to use uh, three condition as per the recurrence and at the end we have to identify how many multiplication and how many squaring are there at, uh, and based on that we can identify how many multiplications required for any uh, exponential right so now the question here is can we directly find uh, how many multiplications required yes that is also possible by using a different uh, recurrence equation uh, by using another algorithm so let us have an algorithm of uh, our errors to uh, n uh, what we discuss in a recurrence equation when we write in form of algorithm then we can write like a function exponential divide and conquer and we are passing a and n as argument actually it is our errors to n so we are passing constant value and power as an argument so as per as already we discussed in our recurrence equation when the value of n is equal to 1 then we have to return a if the value of n is even at that time we have to return exponential we have to call same function and we have to pass a raised to n divided by 2 whole square so in our recurrence equation we are writing like it will return a raised to n divided by 2 whole square so whenever this condition is false at that time your last condition it means that when the value of n is equal to odd at that time we it will pass a into exponential dc uh, a raised to n minus 1 so this is our algorithm uh, which we can derive from our recurrence equation now as we discuss uh, if you want to find uh, how many multiplications are required then we have to follow over uh, this algorithm or we can say we have to follow over recurrence equation uh, three condition we have to check and based on that we have to put different values at the end we have to identify how many multiplication and how many squarings are there and based on that we can identify how many multiplications required so now uh, is it possible to identify how many multiplications required by using another recurrence yes we have another recurrence to identify directly how many multiplications required by a raised to 36 so every time manually it is not required to check uh, how many multiplication and how many squarings required our our recurrence equation our algorithm will directly return number of multiplication of rs to n so uh, let us discuss this recurrence equation this recurrence equation basically used to identify how many multiplications required so now uh, n of uh, n this small n is nothing but the uh, power uh, of any constant value so here uh, n of n is equal to 0 if the value of n is equal to 1 if the power is 1 at that time we can return directly 0 if power is even at that time we will return n of uh, n by 2 plus 1 otherwise uh, we have to return n by uh, n of n minus 1 plus 1 just take one example suppose previously we have checked uh, two example that is rs to 15 and we uh, conclude that number of 6 multiplications required whenever rs to 36 at that time number of 6 multiplications required in both the case rs to 15 rs to 36 only 6 multiplications required so let us check whether the, this recurrence equation directly give answer rs to 15 required 30, uh, 6 multiplication and RS, rs to 36 required 6 multiplication or not so uh, based on this uh, recurrence equation identify a raised to 15 required how many number of multiplication so here the n is equal to 15 so n of 15 is equal to we have to check these three condition n is equal to 1 no this is the 15 so n is equal to not 1 n is even no and 15 is not even so third condition is 2 that is n of n minus 1 plus 1 so n of 15 minus 1 that is 14 plus 1 so we can say n of 14 plus 1 now we have to solve this n of 14 so uh, n is minus small n is equal to 14 so n is even so whenever n is even then we have to perform n of n by 2 plus 1 so in place of uh, n of 14 we can write n of uh, 7 that is uh, 14 divided by 2 plus 1 so in place of n of 14 we can write uh, n of 7 plus 1 so n of 7 plus 1 plus 1 so n of 7 plus 2 now n of 7 so 7 is uh, odd so whenever it is odd at that time n of n minus 1 plus 1 so in place of this uh, n of 7 we can write n of 6 uh, plus 1 
so n of 6 plus 1 plus 2 that is n of 6 plus 3 now n small n is equal to 6 so this second condition that is e1 uh, is true so we can uh, write uh, n of n by 2 plus 1 so in uh, n of uh, n by 2 that is 6 by 2 uh, plus 1 so n of 3 plus 1 so uh, plus the n of 3 plus 1 plus 3 so n of 3 plus 4 now here uh, n is equal to 3 the third condition is true so we can write n of n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 uh, that is 2 so n of 2 plus 1 plus 4 so n of 2 plus 5 now 2 is uh, even so we can write n of n by 2 plus 1 so in place of n by 2 uh, n of 2 we can write uh, 2 by 2 uh, that is 1 and plus 1 uh, 1 so uh, whenever n of 1 at that time as we discuss n is equal to 1 then we have to return 0 so 0 plus 6 is equal to 6 so uh, whenever uh, exponential is 15 at that time it return a uh, 6 number of multiplication so we already discussed that uh, in, in this example whenever the value of n is equal to 15 for s to 15 total number, num, total number of multiplications required is 6 now check for the rs to 36 so that uh, we can uh, again uh, conclude that how many multiplications required so whenever it is n of 36 so this is another example but we are discussing right now that is n of 36 so whenever it is n of 36 so 36 is uh, e1 so we can write uh, n by 2 plus 1 so in place of a third n of 36 we can write n of uh, 36 divided by 2 plus 1 so n of 36 divided by 2 that is 18 18 plus 1 so n of 18 plus 1 now 18 is uh, a1 so we can uh, write same equation like n of n divided by 2 plus 1 so in place of n of 18 we can write n of 9 plus 1 plus 1 so n of 9 plus 2 now uh, n is equal to small n there is uh, uh, odd so we can write n of n minus 1 plus 1 so n of uh, 9 minus 1 that is 8 plus 1 plus 2 so n of 8 plus 3 now 8 is uh, even so second condition is 2 so we can write n of n divided by 2 plus 1 so n of 4 plus 1 plus 3 that is n of 4 plus 4 now uh, 4 is uh, uh, even so same uh, n of uh, n divided by 2 plus 1 so n of 4 divided by 2 that is n of 2 plus 1 so n of 2 plus 1 plus 4 that is n of 2 plus 5 now uh, uh, here it is uh, 2 so 2 divided by uh, 2 plus 1 so n of 1 plus 1 plus 5 that is n of 1 plus 6 whenever a value of n is equal to 1 then we will return 0 so 0 plus 6 is equal to 6 so whenever it is 36 rs to 36 at the time number of multiplications required that is 6 so in this way we can also identify how many multiplications required right whenever uh, power uh, for any constant is given so in this way we can uh, reduce number of multiplication and we can also calculate easily how many multiplications uh, required uh, for any exponential so this is all about exponential so thank you thank you very much